Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Techify video. My name is Josh and today we're going to be reviewing iPadOS 14. This is going to include how to get 4K video on YouTube and how to mostly work the accessibility shortcuts and um, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be covering in this video, so stay tuned. Coming right up. Alright, so we're going to open up our settings. We're going to go to, let's go to Safari. We're going to do the 4K YouTube first. So after this, we're going to go to Advanced. We're going to go to Website, or sorry, not Website Data. We're going to go to Experimental Features. Go all the way down. Make sure this uh, WebRTC VP9 codec is enabled at the bottom. That'll enable support for higher resolution videos. It depends what device you are running and uh, that should give you, if you're running an iPhone X or an XS or I believe an 8 or a high, higher for iPhone, then that will um, work. And if you're running any iPad 2017 or higher, it should work too for 4K YouTube videos. Now it is, now the screen is not truly 4K, it is just cropped and to make it 1080p, but it is not truly 4K, so it's just a little, um, a little quick note there and uh, let's go to accessibility now I got a ton of comments about my accessibility like Josh can you please play a game with this I'm going to show you Minecraft and Minecraft only because it has a d-pad meaning I'll show you that later so stay tuned for that going to switch control and you're gonna want to create a new recipe I call mine Minecraft because that's what I'm going to be playing most of the time because it does have a D-pad, meaning, um, so let's just mo load up Minecraft real fast and show you um, what a D-pad is in case you don't know. I'm getting currently attacked by all these mobs, so um, as you can see on the screen, I'm just going to go to a safe place and uh, here we are. Hopefully this is safe enough. Oh, I just got frozen. So anyway, you see... Here on the bottom left hand side of the screen is a d-pad which means you can actually program keys to tap that so um yes with a little thumbstick I'm gonna exit out of this because it's annoying um with a little thumbstick you can do it like Among Us is a popular game right now I've tried that but you need to be very precise with your buttons if you're gonna push a button and activate it it does work but you need to be very precise and Minecraft you can have it like a little off but it'll still go forward so um you're gonna create a new recipe assign a switch i've already assigned all my switches so you're gonna go into switches and you're gonna go to like switch all the switches that you want and um that's basically it so you're gonna want to go to switches again or sorry recipes and when it says launch recipe at the bottom instead it's going to default to none like this so you're going to click on it and you're going to push minecraft so make sure it's on the game that you want so when i triple click it says your switches are configured to minecraft recipe let's do that again to turn it off and there we go um, that's switch control for you. I've already configured all the switches to work on Minecraft and go check out my early the previous video to show like it, I did detailed uh, explaining on how to do switch control and um, It does work for majority games that have a d-pad or a thumbstick that actually activates um, a move but in Roblox I've had some comments about that it got a new update where you do need to drag your finger the way you want to go. So that is going to be unfortunate to those that want to play Roblox, including myself. Um, yeah, I do. Sometimes there have been rumors about updates of an upcoming D-pad that could be happening soon. So um, yeah, some games are supporting it. So go check out other videos about that. Um, I know Minecraft has it for sure. Fortnite is off the Apple and Google Play Store, so uh, no Fortnite, unfortunately. But uh, PUBG should work. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, that's how the accessibility settings on iOS 14. Thanks for watching, guys.